We're going to be talking about relationships right now, and many of you probably have that one relationship that perhaps you would deem it maybe a toxic relationship, maybe it's weighing you down a little bit, but here to help us, we are joined by Melissa Don, life coach. Welcome back to the show, Melissa. Great to have you here. And this is an interesting topic because, you know, I think a lot of us don't even like to admit that we perhaps have a toxic relationship out there that is weighing us down. Do you think most people really do have one in their lives? I think people have a lot more than they realize. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, let's walk through. So you've got you've got some some great things. Before we get started though, I want to mention you you're now an author. Your brand new book is called I Attract What I Am. It's available on amazon.com. So how does it feel being an author? Congratulations first of all. <laughs> Thank you. So how does it feel being Thank an author you. and seeing your book in print like that? Wow. Um, I have to say I worked really hard. I put my heart and soul into it. I, I shared my raw truth with no filter. Right. And I have to say that now I have a new appreciation for authors and even people like yourself that put yourself out there every day and are now open to public feedback. It's uh, So what it's story something. do you tell in, in, in this book? You're, you're sharing some, some of your personal life stories? I'm sharing my failures, uh, okay. my negative relationships, and how basically I turned my life around after that. Okay. So that readers can also see that you can change your life around and I share the steps that I took so that they can perhaps use them as a guideline to create the life they truly want. All right, well let's talk about relationships. You say day one, uh, get clear on what a negative relationship is versus what needs to be changed inside yourself. What, what do you mean by that? Well, everything starts with you, right? So right. it's easy to point the finger and say, this person did this, this person did that. But what's going on with you? I mean, let's face it, we're all going through something. Is right. there something you can change? Is there something you can do differently? Are you really acting from your best self? So start with the internal analysis. Okay. Maybe there is nothing you can do. Maybe the relationship is negative. To me, a negative relationship is when someone is consciously or unconsciously trying to prevent you from moving forward. They're okay. not supporting you in moving forward. Some people just don't want to see you grow. They want to see you be in the same place. So ask yourself, is there something I need to change or is this person really being like a spoke in my wheel? All right, uh, second thing is get curious. What, what do you mean by that exactly? I call this taking the high road. Okay. So, you know, a lot of negative people or toxic people, they're trying to bring you down. Uh, but you got to remember that what they're saying is a reflection of what's going on inside of them. So right. don't take it personally. Don't get mad, don't get frustrated. It's easy to take it personally, get mad and frustrated, but how about getting curious? I was gonna say, yeah, how do you approach that person then to find out if, you know, may maybe, it's, maybe it's something you can really help them with, right? Well, you can ask them, is there anything going on? Like, for instance, what if you have a negative coworker and that, that person's always negative to you? Like, maybe their boss is being negative towards them and they're just projecting it out on you. So just right. have the conversation, like I noticed that you're, Maybe a bit off. Is there something going on? Is there something I can help with? You know, just have the conversation, clear the air. Uh, you say also decide who needs to be cut and when. And do you mean like actually set a deadline? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you got to stop doing things that aren't working. So if you have someone in your life that's preventing you from moving forward, you need to get them out because they're draining your energy that you need to move forward in your life. So make a list. It could be right. one person, could be several people, yeah. and if you set a deadline, you're more likely to do it sooner than later, and the sooner you do it, the, the sooner you can move on towards your goals. Um, now, we have to talk about the approach, because I've t I, I mentioned to you that I, I, did, I had a couple of what I felt were toxic relationships in, in, in my 20s, and got rid of those re relationships, but I, I, it was so difficult to approach. What's the proper way to approach it? Well, it's all a matter of what works for you. Right. I mean, everybody is different. Um, just remember the saying that uh, criticize a foolish person and they, you know, they won't take it well and criticize a wise person and they'll appreciate it. Okay. So there's two different roads you can take. Usually you've told the person a few times what's bothering you, but some people are really toxic and manipulative and that one final conversation, it's just going to drain you even more and they're just going to suck you further into their web. So for people like that, just feel free to block them. Okay, like just, just end stop it and talking, it's done. block right. them on social media, do what you have to do because they're not getting it, you know? Okay. But there are some people, like maybe you've been in a long-term relationship for a few years, and, you know, they're worth the conversation. They deserve the conversation. So just be strong, be honest, and tell them why you need to cut them out of your life. Uh, lastly, you say celebrate. Actually celebrate once, once it's done, right? Point the finger back at yourself and say, hey, good for you. You accomplished something. Well, 
it's not easy to do, let's face yeah. it. If it was easy to do, we wouldn't be having any wars in this world. Like, so yes, congratulate yourself that you take a step towards moving forward in your own life. I like it. Uh, great, great pieces of advice. Melissa, thanks so much for joining us again. Really appreciate it. Again, uh, her book is called I Attract What I Am, and it's available on Amazon.com. More coming up here on Breakfast Television right after this.